Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this DALI tutorial, we're going to learn how to create beautiful logos and icons just like this using DALI. You don't have to have a designing knowledge. You don't need to know Photoshop. You don't need to know Corel Draw. All you have to do is give a good prompt that DALI can take and convert it to a really good startup logo or an icon. This is an idea that I got from Zahid Kawaja. Zahid Kawaja recently tweeted this. And then also he was very kind enough to share the prompts. So we're going to play with the prompts that Zahid Kawaja shared. So thanks to Zahid Kawaja for sharing the prompts in the age of prompt engineering where prompt is really gold. So if you have not got DALI access at this point, DALI is open for anybody. So all you have to do is request access and then you would get the beta access with 50 credits. Every month you get 50 credits and then you can play with that. Every time you type something here, it's going to take one credit from your account. So make sure that you use the credit diligently. Once you land on DALI, you would most probably be on a page like this. This is labs.openai.com labs.openai.com. And once you reach here, you can start entering your prompt. The trick to get a good logo or icon is to be specific about what you want, be specific about what kind of structure you want. Let me give you a quick example, modern startup logo. So you want a logo for a startup, but you don't want text. Even though you say don't know text, it's still going to give you some text, but you're going to avoid text in most of the images that you're going to get. The next is symmetrical. So it is very important to specify, do you want balance? Do you want symmetrical icon? And Ali is quite good at capturing this image property and then designing the logo or icon like you want a minimalistic logo to keep it simple and what is the logo that you want what is the icon that you want what kind of object that you want and then finally you have to define what kind of background that you want so that it's easier for you to take this logo and then if you want to make it transparent use it on a tool like photoshop edit the background out simply using a magic wand or a laser tool and then get it going so just like a graphic designer, you have to specify DALI certain instructions and that instruction is what we call prompt and prompt itself is not like a one line word, but it is more um, of an art these days, how you give a prompt. So let's see what happens in this case. Modern startup logo with no text, symmetrical, minimalistic bird icon, centered gradient, dark background, and let's generate and see what DALI is going to create as a logo for this particular use case. And then we can also explore other use cases where we want to select a different icon. So you can see this is a, this is, this is a bird icon. I don't know this not satisfied, but this looks good. This looks good. If you do not like what Dali has created, you can simply click generate again, and it is going to create a new set of four icons or logos for you that you can just now see and then feel whether you like it. So let's see what happens next. And uh, we have, we have one. We have two, we have three and we have four. So we have got different kinds of icon. And this is quite cool. Like in the past when I tried, I got this, the set of logos and I really like this logo. So this logo almost looks like a bird to me. It's very minimalistic, a limited amount of colors. If you want like set of colors, you can also specify that. But also it, it also is very modern. So that way I really like this logo. So now let us say like instead of this, instead of a bird icon, you want to generate a logo for an AI company. So modern AI, um, I can say AI startup logo. I don't know how much it makes a different if I say AI startup or just simply startup, but I can say modern AI startup logo with a no text, symmetrical, minimalistic robot icon say, and you can see that you have got robot, 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 robot. These look silly, but as an icon, this really looks good. And you can also see the gradient playing really well. Like you can, you can actually sense the gradient in every single image that you have and it, it looks nice. So now you can, you can be more specific. You can say minimalistic Android robot icon and then see how that is going to play. And, and like this, you can start generating logo for any business that you, you want to um, just deal with. Like for example, so this, does it look like Android? Yeah, this, in fact, this looks like if you, I don't know if you, how many of you know, nothing phone. So nothing phone has got the glyph on the back side. This almost looks like a design for a glyph on the back side of a nothing phone. This looks nice. This uh, is not necessarily symmetric. This looks 
okay um, this also looks nice it looks like it is it is just straight out of wally and now instead of just designing randomly let's particularly pick a company and then see what yc companies are there and let's try to create a logo for a yc company we have a company called uh, zepto zepto is an indian company that delivers grocery very fast so now what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to see see if i can create a logo so zepto basically delivers grocery in less than 10 minutes so i'm going to say modern startup logo with symmetrical minimalistic flash fast and um, delivery icon let's see what happens at the end so i'm trying to create a logo for zepto but i'm going to give the properties of what i want to see in the logo what the branding that i want to people to take okay this 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 actually looks nice um this this actually looks nice and uh, maybe i can say you know I want, I want i want more variations of this give me more variations of this i don't know again whether it will give exactly the logo or it's going to create new images but let's see when i click variations that's another simple way for us to create more copies of this and it's honestly speaking these variations look amazing like this this looks amazing to me this this also looks amazing to me and if i don't like any of these things i can just completely go back and then say you know what i want a modern startup logo with no text minimalistic speed flash fast um uh, grocery delivery icon and i can again click generate and then see what what is it going to generate and then from that i can pick one of the particular items and then i can say generate more for me generate more variations of this particular icon for me and the, oh this i i don't know i just love this 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 looks amazing to me i don't know what does it look like but this looks amazing to me this star star so maybe did i give star here flash okay this looks amazing to me let me ask for variations of this and then see what kind of variations dali creates for me but i think you get the basic idea the basic idea is to have a prompt the prompt which can specify what do we want to see okay this this looks i think this is much better this is good as well this is it a fish flying i don't know looks good nice um some of these icons look really nice like if i have to create a cartoon uh, especially a child story it's nice so the, basically the idea is you need to specify what do you want to see in the icon and then you want to specify how do you want to see it then you need to specify how do you want it to be placed then you need to specify what is the background that you want it to be then you need to also specify do you want it to be symmetrical asymmetrical balanced imbalanced and then you want to just give a context about what is this entire thing about and this is really good enough for you to generate a good a decent um like if 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 somebody has it maybe you know you can have a little bit of post processing and then you put another company name here i don't think anybody is going to say this is an ai generated image it almost looks like the work of a graphic designer in fact like look at this look at this this is this is quite amazing this is almost like an app icon and it is so beautifully done and you can now ask for variations of this and then see how it looks like but just remember like every time i'm clicking a button i'm losing my credits so if you're going to do the same thing you are also going to lose the credits so just keep that in mind but if not like all these things like this this is again amazing this is this is amazing i love this um this looks like a broken this looks broken um this is okay but this is the original i think i i still like the original and uh, you can see how we can create new items and then start using it and this is quite easy to cut like you can see the dark background so the like you can use a tool like magic wand using photoshop and then you can just cut it and then export the icon so this is basically how you would generate a high quality logo or an icon for a startup or a product using dali without having to do any graphic design by yourself all by the prompts itself and thanks to zahid kawaja for sharing the prompt which also helped us give us some idea about how to go about in this video i hope this video was helpful to you in learning a new dali trick if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise share your tips and tricks for dali i'll share it with my audience see you in the next video happy dallying